Da Vinci Hand Split Shake Siding Installation at Openings With any individual shingle or shake application, special care must be taken at openings such as doors, windows, and vents. All horizontal trim must be properly flashed and all window manufacturers' requirements must be observed. When abutting shakes to the window bottom and side trim attachments, the shakes may be installed with light contact or a 1 16th inch gap. Depending on the window or door size and course layout and reveal chosen, in some cases smaller, less than full size pieces will be required. These may be fastened with a corrosion resistant 15 gauge finish nail or trim screws. At the top of the opening, the installer may use cut to size starter shingles or cut shakes at the appropriate height for the underlying filler course. We recommend the next to top of the opening or penultimate course extend the top portion of the shake beyond the corner of the opening. The shakes at the opening corner should be cut or notched. This method will help deter unwanted water entry at this juncture. At the top course over openings, two methods may be used continuing the existing course and cutting the bottom of the shake to fit. It is advised to cut tiles with a 30 degree bevel so that the underlying rib structure is appropriately masked. This method retains the top edge alignment and the same shake thickness across the opening. An alternative method is to retain the solid bottom edge of the shake and cut the shake to the desired height by measuring from the bottom edge up and removing the top portion of the shake. With either method, maintain a 1 16th to 1 8th inch clearance above the horizontal flashing. Visit our installation video library for product and condition specific installation guidelines.